Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this session, we'll continue with creating a tool and explain tool data and eye data. The tool data controls the default values for the feed and spin rate of the tool itself. Now again, this could be either a metric or an inch. If it's a metric, you'll see it says millimeters per minute. If we're an inch, you'll see it says inch per minute. I'll go to metric, and let's first take a look now at the feed field. The feed field allows us to work in two different ways. The first way is by putting in the actual feed of the tool in millimeters per minute. We have it here for the X feed and the XY, can have a separate feed for the Z as it goes down and if this box is checked off we can control the feed finish as well to have a separate feed different from the feed XY. The other option we have for feed units is FZ. By FZ it takes the millimeters for tooth. This actually takes into account if I had to go back in topology the number of flutes. I'll put it on F and just leave it now the way it is. Now, there's one more option over here called feed Z for penetration only. If I would be working in a 3D operation, then the feed Z that's written over here is only effective for penetrating into the part itself. But for actual working, when it's working in X, Y, Z simultaneously, it will not look at the feed Z. Now, let's go over to the other side and talk about the spin rate. The spin rate can be programmed in, with two different options, either giving it the revolutions per minute, as shown over here, or in velocity of meters per minute. By clicking over here, we get the spin rate of meters per minute. We'll leave it over here at revolution per minute. And over here, we also have the option of spin finish. Whereas if I'm doing a finish cut, I can have a different spin rate for my finish cut as well. Next, we have the spin direction. The spin direction either works clockwise or counterclockwise. Default in most cases is clockwise. There are certain cases where you have tools that actually cut working counterclockwise. So this option is available over here. Next, we'll look at the eye data. In the eye data, this has to do with the eye machining operations itself. The eye data shows you the material that this tool will be working on. It'll also tell you what tool type you're using, whether it be carbide, cobalt, high speed, or premium carbide and allows you to change the percentage, if I were to click on here, of how much the calculation of the, the feed and spin rates that are done inside iMachining itself. Also, we have the topology of the tool as far as the helical angle of the tool. We also can have a default for this tool as far as the machining level. For instance, if I want this machining, this tool always to work as default in a level of five, I'll just put it level five. And we can also control in the eye data the maximum chip thickness if I want it different from what the default is given in the program itself. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.